With the custom paint widget you can draw lines, you can draw rectangles and also all the other different shapes. And the custom paint widget is always useful if you want to control every pixel of what you are drawing on the screen. And therefore you draw here on a canvas, which is here this white background. And obviously you can also put here, for example, images and draw images on this canvas. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by drawing here a simple line on our screen and this is what we want to draw inside of a canvas. And therefore we first of all start here with a white container which is 300 by 300 pixels and here inside we want to draw our line. To draw our line we make use of this custom paint widget and inside of this custom paint widget you need to supply a painter and therefore we want to create right now a line painter which is extending from the custom painter and the custom painter is responsible for drawing all the commands which are then later displayed here within our custom paint. And here we have basically two methods. The first one is paint, where we put all the drawing commands inside. And secondly, we have here this should repaint. And this is generally returning a value of false because we don't want to repaint our widget. However, you also can set it to true if this image what we are drawing is later changing. So for example, your image is animating, which you are drawing on this canvas. Next, we need to define all the drawing commands within our paint method and therefore we get here a canvas, which is then this canvas of 300 pixels by 300 pixels in which we can draw pixel perfect lines and shapes and also images. And secondly, we get here the size of our widget, which is 300 by 300 pixels. And this is because we have wrapped around our custom paint another widget, which has a width and a height of 300 by 300 pixels. Now let's go to our paint method and here inside we want to draw a line on our canvas and therefore you call here canvas draw line. And inside of this method you need to supply two points. The first one is the starting point of your line and the end point of your line. To define this point you simply create this offset object and here you can define first of all the x coordinate of your point and we always make it here dependable on our size width. And secondly, we put then the Y coordinate inside and this is then depending on the height. And this was now the starting point and we also need to define the end point. And therefore you also put here the X coordinate inside and the Y coordinate. And lastly, you also need to define here this paint object which we have initialized before. And now we have here this simple line which you can barely see. However, we also can change it. So we can change here the width of this line and we set it for example to 10 pixels. And now you see this line better. And now we also want to talk about these coordinates which I have put here inside. So first of all, we have defined here that it should start at 16% of the width, which might be somewhere here. And our Y coordinate is starting here at 50% of our height which is then directly here in the middle and this is then this point. And secondly, we define here a point at 83% of the width, which is exactly here. And also on the Y coordinate, we have it here again in the middle like before so that it is a straight line. You also can modify this line obviously. So for example, you put here zero inside, then the Y coordinate of our endpoint is zero, which means that the line will end at this location. And now if I draw it, you see that the line is going from the starting point to this endpoint. However, you also can, for example, put here a one inside and then it will end here at the end location, which is here 100%. So to sum it up, here we have first of all the starting point, which is the starting point of our line, and then the end point, which is here this end point of our line. And thirdly, we put here this paint object inside, which is then responsible for how this line should look like. And here we have defined a width of 10. However, you also can set, for example, the color of this line. You also can make the line rounded. Therefore, you set here this stroke cape to round. And now if I zoom here inside, you see that our line is rounded at the edges and also on the other edge. Next, we want to look at how we can draw a rectangle, a rounded rectangle and also all the other shapes. 
To draw a rectangle, we start again with a custom paint, which is then constrained within a size of 300 by 300 pixels. And this time we have here this rectangle painter, which is again extending from the custom painter. And here we override again the two methods and then we create again a paint object. And we also define here the rectangle, which we want to draw. And therefore we want to define here a rectangle from two points. And this means we need to define here the top left corner of our rectangle and the bottom right corner of our rectangle. And out of these both points, it will then draw a rectangle. Therefore, we want to draw this rect first of all on a canvas and therefore you only have to supply here this method and put the rect inside. And like before, you also need to set the paint object inside. And this rectangle constructor is now taking two points pretty similar to the line which we had before. So we define here a point A and point B. And then we define here again two offsets with first of all the X coordinate and secondly the Y coordinate. And we also create here another point. And with these two points, we have defined here first of all a square like you can see. And the first point starts here at 25% of the width and 25% of the height, which is exactly this location. And the second point is defined with 75% of our width and 75% of our height, which is exactly here this point. And right now we got here first of all the square because our points are pretty symmetric. So here I set for example 16% inside. And now our starting point is here more on the left side and it is more a rectangle like you can see. And you also can define here for example it to 83% so that it also moves the end point more to the right side. You might wonder why we always take here the width and height and make it dependable on the width and height. And this is because we can then later change here the width and height of our widget. So here you can for example put it to 200 by 200 and the rectangle will look the same. And also if I put here 100 by 100 inside, it also looks the same. Let's also quickly look at how it looks like if we put here real values inside. So you can define here, for example, 50 for the X coordinate and 50 for the Y coordinate. And also for your second point, you can define real values. And now if I change here the width and height, then it is not right anymore. Like you can see, it is not putting the value also correct inside. And therefore it is always really important that you draw your things dependable on the size width and size height so that you can later change easily your width and height outside of this widget. Another important thing is that if you don't supply here a width and height for your custom paint, then it will change here also the size of it. You see here we have barely our content and therefore it is always important to wrap here a container around with a size width and size height. Alternatively, you also can set within your custom paint a child and this is for example in this case a text. And then you see that our white box is here around this text so it has the same size as our text. And the painter is then painting behind our child widget. However, if you want to draw before your child widget, you also have this foreground painter. So if I now hot reload, you see that the rectangle is drawn on top of our child widget. And this is because we have supplied here a foreground painter. If you want to have your painter in the background, then you simply define here the painter and then our rectangle is behind our child widget. Next, we want to look at the other shapes which we can draw within our canvas. So we can create a rounded rectangle. We also can create a circle, an arc, a triangle, and we also can draw later an image inside of our canvas. To draw a rounded rectangle, you take here on this canvas the method draw rounded rect. And now we cannot take here a normal rect anymore. Instead, we need to put here a rounded rect inside, which we then construct out of a rectangle and also out of a radius. And the rectangle we already have, so we only need to define the roundedness of our rectangle and therefore we create here a new radius and I set it for example to 32. And now you see that our rectangle is rounded and you also can make this value higher so it is more rounded or if you put here a lower value inside then it is less rounded. Right now we draw here every time a rectangle outline. However, you also can change here within your paint object the style to fill and then our rectangle itself is filled. 
And if you set it again to the stroke, then it also takes here the stroke width to also define the width of this border. Next, we want to look at how we can draw a circle within our canvas. To draw a circle, you go to your custom painter paint method and here inside you can then call this canvas draw circle. And first of all, you need to define here a point for this circle where it should be drawn and we want to draw it inside of the center. And therefore I create here the center point, which is taking here the half width and the half of the height. And this means that we have right now here the center point where we want to draw our circle. And secondly, we need to define here a radius, how big our circle should be. And lastly, we put also the paint object inside. And we have defined here the radius to 25% of the width. So the radius of a circle is always from the center point to the outside of our circle. And this is exactly 25% of the width of this white box. Next, we want to draw an arc and this is always a part of a circle. Therefore, we go back to our custom painter and here within the paint method, we call this canvas.drawPath. And within a pass object, you can put many drawing commands inside of one top command. And therefore we create here first of all the pass. And then you can, for example, call here this method move to. And this means that we move to a specific location on our canvas. And we want to move here to 20% of the width and 20% of the height, which might be somewhere here around. And from this location, we want to draw then an arc to this location. And therefore we only need to define here this other point. And therefore I simply call here this arc to point method where we need to define the second point. And here we simply put then 80% of the width, which is here. And we also take the same height. And this draws here first of all a normal line. So we also want to make it rounded and therefore you can supply here the radius. And I set it for example to 150. And if you put here a lower radius inside, then also this gets bigger. And if you put here a higher radius inside, then it is more closer together. And lastly, you also can define this clockwise property to false. And this then will draw our arc from the other side. Let's also look at how we can draw a triangle. And at the end, we also want to put an image inside of our canvas. Therefore, we create again a new pass object and then we also call here on our canvas the draw pass method and put here this pass inside. And now we can define within this pass many drawing commands. So first of all, we want to move our point to a specific location. And this is then at 50% of the width and 25% of the height, which might be at this location. And this is then the point where we start our drawing. And now we want to draw a line to this location, to this location, and then again to this location. Therefore, we call here on our path the line two method. And then we put here first of all the location of the first line. And this is then going to this location. Secondly, we put another line inside, which is then going to this location. And thirdly, we want to go back to this location. So normally you can put another line to this location here inside. However, you also can simply define here path close. And then he will close the pass and put again the line to the origin position. And lastly, we want to look at how we can draw an image inside of a canvas. Therefore, I have put here an image inside of our asset folder and within our pubspec jumble file under the flutter tag, I also have included this assets. Next, we go to a widget and here we want to define the init state and within the init state of this widget, we want to load our image, which we have put here inside of these assets folder. And here we have defined this image.jpg and this is exactly what we want to load right now. And therefore we create here a message to load first of all our image from the assets and therefore we take here this root bundle. And then we get here this image back. We also want to get out of this loaded image, the bytes. And from these bytes, we want to decode them to get a real image object. And lastly, we put this image, which we have loaded inside of our state. And therefore I have created here this UI image. And at the end, we need to put this image inside of our image painter. Therefore I simply add it here. And within our image painter, I also add here this image inside of our constructor. 
And now it gets pretty simple. So we can simply draw this image on our canvas. And therefore we call here this canvas.drawImage. And here inside we put then the image which we have loaded before. And we also need to set the point where our image should start drawing. And we want to start at the location 0, 0. And secondly, we need to define here our paint object. And now our image is here drawn on our screen. However, it doesn't have any constraints on the size because normally what we want to have is a size of 300 by 300 pixels. And this should then look like this, that we have 300 by 300 pixels and not that it expands here over our size. To draw our image 300 by 300 pixels on our canvas, we simply wrap here around our custom paint widget, another widget, which is here the size box. And then we simply define here the width by this image.width, which we have loaded. And also we define here the image.height. And secondly, you need to wrap here around the size box, a fitted box. And then it is fitting here to our 300 by 300 pixels, which we have defined here on the top widget. And now you can also change here the width and height of your image. And then it is scaled down, for example, or if you put a higher value inside, then our image is scaled up. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.